Welcome back to Captain of Industry. Like any city builders, we need to give food to our population, but that's not all. We need somehow to give them some ideas and some Mafi Sonic. More seriously, your people will want some household goods, some appliances and some electronics. You know, think about first they want some chairs and tables, then they want a fridge or a dryer, and then lastly, well, they want some electronics, a computer, a TV. All of this will give you, of course, a lot of unity. As you can see, this is huge number of unities. So let me show you how to provide it with some very efficient, very beautiful layouts. I also have many other Captain of Industries video on the channel. We have a Let's Play that's going from scratch to launching the rocket. And we also have many other perfect, beautiful layouts and guides. So don't hesitate to check in the video description below or on the channel later on. Those household goods and appliances, like everything else, you need to unlock it into the tech tree. And this is actually pretty end game stuff. As you can see, you know, here we are at the beginning of the tech tree. You need to move quite a bit before you get into the first one, which is over here. This is the first one here with the household goods. Then we need to move even further to get into the household appliances. And then lastly, you know, it is pretty much right at the end. You can see the rocket is over here. The consumer electronics are just below it. And this is also reflected, of course, in the goods that you need to make these, right? To make the household goods, you're gonna need glass. This is not completely end game, but this is definitely not uh, from the beginning either. Then for your household appliances, you'll need steel and electronics level two. And then lastly, for your consumer electronics, you know, your computer and TVs, you're going to need electronics level three. To make them, you're gonna need to use your assemblies and you know, we start with the assembly manual level one up to the robotic level two. Well, obviously this is not available in your assembly manual. There's barely anything over here. You're gonna need to move further. Going into order, if we start here with your furnitures, you know, your table and chairs, this is available both in the assembly electric level two, as well as in your assembly robotic. But this is actually not available in the assembly robotic level two. Now the difference is that basically you're going to produce double. Uh, this one is 16. This one over here is going to be 32. But this is the, exactly the also double the input, right? 48 and 8. Here, 24 and 4. So the main difference is, you know, how much do you need to produce? Do you have space to put two of these? Or do you want just one of these? Because remember that those robotic ones, they will require teraflops, right? So you may not really want to build those ones if you don't have to. You may just want to have two of these. Now for the appliances, they are actually available in all three. In the electric level two, in the robotic level one and robotic level two. Once again, this will of course increase. Here we're making 16 based on 16, four and four. Here we're gonna make 24 based on 24, six and six. So it's not double. And then here, this is actually double. This is 48, 12, 12 to make 48. And then lastly, for your consumer electronics, this is actually only available in the robotic level two. So that will definitely require some teraflops, actually six, quite a bit of electricity too, but very few people, because once again, this is robotics, right? So there's a lot less people. Also do know that you'll need maintenance level three for this one. So that's quite advanced. And you're only making four of these. So you may actually need several of these to make enough for your population. Now to actually give it to your population, you'll need to build those buildings over here, the household good module, or the household appliances module, or lastly, the consumer electronic modules. These are the shop that you saw at the beginning of the video. And when you click on them, you can see a couple of things. The first one, you'll be able to see a couple of things. Of course, do not, they actually take a bit of electricity and people. So only put them online when you're actually ready to give it to your population. Um, you'll be able to see, first of all, how much you need. For my population here of 5,500 people, I'm going to need 48.5 per minute. Quite a bit, definitely this is not just one or two. Then the second element is you'll be able to see you have here a storage. And this is a built-in storage for 240. So it's not huge, but it's definitely something. So you may not want to even build a storage next to it. I have built one that's feeding right into it with a keep full to just bring the material here and not have a problem. This also enables me to put, if I want an alert, for example, you know, notify me if it's below 25%, but still this has a built-in storage. This is an important one. Of course, you'll need truck import on if you want to deliver it directly here. And then lastly, you'll be able to see is how much unity you're gaining. You may see one unity given out of the three 
0.36 possible. Here I'm definitely producing enough. You see I have a lot, a lot of reserve. So I'm getting the full amount, 3.36 in this case. Over here I'll need 32.3 and do not, this is maintenance level 2. And here I need 16.2 with maintenance level 3. And as you can see, consumer electronics, that's 4.32. That's quite a lot of unity. And with that, you can start to know how much you need to produce. Okay, so I'm definitely not saying this is a perfect layout, but I did want to show you what you can do. As you can see, I've used only robotics. These ones are robotics level one because it's not available in the level two. And this one is a level two. And with that, I'm producing 38. You may remember I needed more than 30. So it was not enough for me to have a robotic level one. So over here, we need some glass, some steel and some wood. We have the wood, the glass and the steel. The steel is coming at level zero, the glass at level one and the wood at level two. And then they all just go down. And then we have the household goods coming into this one, trying to keep it empty. Then here we need the electronics level 1, level 2, and steel. So again, we have the steel over here, that's level 0. Then we have the electronics level 1 at level 1, and electronics level 2 at level 2. And with that, we are making our appliances that are going over here to be transported. Similarly, over here for the consumer electronics, I need actually more than 16, so that's 5 of those robotic level 2. That's quite a lot, quite a lot of teraflops. But it's worth it, once again, right? More than four unity, that you can do a lot. We need some plastic, some electronics level three, and some steel. So again, three layers, you can see all going down. That's easy. In terms of layout, you have a bit two choices. One is to make it a bit a separate layout like I did over here. The other is to integrate it into your main production chain. Right, this is where I'm making the electronics, where I'm making the electronics level 2, level 3, all those type of things. The steel, the wood, the plastic, everything is there, right? So I could also put it directly into this. The reason I decided to separate it is because for me, this is the low priority. This is lower priority than my maintenance or many other things. So if I have resources in stock, then some trucks can come and deliver it. If I don't, that's fine. I lose some unity, but for now, I don't really need it. Of course, if you don't know how to make some of these products, like how to make the plastic, the steel, the glass, don't hesitate to check some of my other videos in the video description below. I've covered it all. But here, I just, just wanted to really focus on the three goods for our population, which once again can provide you a lot of unity. So I definitely suggest you go for them as soon as you can. But again, this is a bit more kind of end game. Don't hesitate to share in the comments below if you have any thoughts, questions, requests for other videos. I'd love to hear about it. And I hope to see you next time.